Tom the Paddy Keenan here. Uh, we're doing a tribute to uh, his father and we're opening the, the courtyard out there, the Piper's Courtyard today. So, hi. just to ask you where, where you came from originally. Originally I was born in Trim, County Meath. And uh, my dad, he was a, a traveller. My mum was from the settled community. And uh, the, I was born there and then taken away immediately near enough. And uh, we moved to Finglas. And then I grew up in Ballyferma from the age of six. We moved into a house in Ballyferma on Ormore Road, Ballyferma. And uh, we lived there for 10 years until 66. And uh, we, we, we uh, all the music there, man. The, the, the house 116 Ormore was christened uh, Radio 116 Ormore Road because the music would be going all through the night and into the early hours of the morning when we were kids. Excuse me. And uh, Finbar, actually, Finbar Fury, you know Finbar, of course. Finbar lived with us for a little while there, and we played together, and we had wonderful times. Himself, his father, my dad, myself. Tommy Ryan was another musician from Ballyfermot. And, of course, the Sweeney's, and many other musicians that I have escaped my memory name-wise right now. But Your house was rocking there with all this. It was, it, was, it was fairly active, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And where did you go to school then yourself? I went to school in, uh, actually I started off in the convent in Ballyfermot, the nuns, yeah. when I was a, a child, uh, five or six years old. And then there was a new school being built in Ballyfermot at the time, in the very late 50s or early, I think it was late 50s or early 60s, late 50s I think. And I went to school there in an old Georgian house up from Fowler's Pub, around the w corner from there. And there was two classes. There was one from 9 to 12, because there wasn't enough space for the kids. And then there was another class from three, from uh, 12 until, or 1 until 3 o'clock. And then I went to Whitefriars Street from there on with yeah, uh, you know, was to, uh, George Fury and myself. Yeah, that was St. John's College where you went to school originally in uh, that little in that It's house. an old Georgian that's house. Right, yeah, yes, yeah, that's yeah. there since 1745. It was the Brothers' House. It's that's become that now, become I think. It's become the Brothers' House, yeah. yeah. And you had good times here in Ballyfermot? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And what leisure time had you? Were you involved? Well, in I, you know, we, 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 at the time, of course, nobody had very much in Ballyfermot, so we, we played... Um, uh, I don't know what it was called, touch or catch, uh, you know, on, on the road actually, yeah, there was no yeah. traffic back then yeah, in Ballyferm. Yeah. Was, if there was a car coming up, everybody would be at the windows looking out and say, oh, there's a car, who's that, you know? Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. And what about, was all the brothers and the whole lot involved uh, in, the, in the, the music, All yeah. of the family played, yeah, yeah, yeah. And where did you inherit that from, your father? My dad, yeah, dad? Yeah, yeah. My dad. My dad played flute, pipes, banjo and fiddle. And uh, of course he was a... Um, a friend of Ted Fury's at the time, and Ted lived down the road. Another gentleman who was a great musician, and uh, his sons, of course, they've proven that. Fimber, Eddie, and uh, the Fury family. My brother played with them for a bit. And uh, Fimber will be here today, only he's busy elsewhere. That's right, yeah. He's a very busy man at the moment. We were him last week. He's on his way to the States. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think the other two brothers are coming down to, you know, yeah, I know yeah, the yeah. daughter will be here today. Oh, he's lovely, lovely. Yeah. Make sure you meet her, you know. Yeah, I will, of course, yeah. I'll say, no, it was great talking to you. We were delighted. Yeah. And and thank congratulations, you, you know. We're no, no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's no. great to see this. It's, it's yeah, really yeah. wonderful to see. Well done, well done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.
starting off our, this morning's celebration in such a fantastic way. It was a surprise, fantastic. It was a fantastic year, actually. Well, they're just, the, they're just out of the case of the car, so they're freezing cold, and you're not getting really there. Oh, wow. Well, it sounded great. It sounded great for you. I don't know if, if the young people here know Paddy, but Paddy was born in Ballyfermish, and she grew up in Ballyfermish. She wasn't born in Ballyfermish, she grew up in Ballyfermish. I grew up. She spent a lot of years in Ballyfermish. Ever coach you? <laughs> his, dad, his dad was a country, but his, uh, his dad was a sixth generation piper, which makes Paddy a seventh generation piper. And uh, we have some information about Paddy's family on the wall there, actually. And his dad actually taught his family, a very remarkable family, taught the family to play the music. And through that, through his father, Paddy has continued the tradition of piping. And I don't know, maybe your own family, Paddy. We'll continue that as well. That's what, that's what legacy and heritage is all about, passing on. He plays a rock guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. He'd probably make more money than I did. Anyway, nice to see you all. It's Thank fantastic, you. Yeah, Paddy. Thank you. And I think I want to welcome you all. The girls right. from Caritas, the boys yeah. from Kelly Cell, Vincent Jackson, Catherine Vincent Jackson, who is here, who is busy today in step in for the long hair. I'm very glad to have you all because today we're celebrating the, the library garden which we're calling the Pipers Garden because UNESCO last year recognised that the Illum Pipes are a huge part of Irish tradition and they're a, an intangible symbol, let's say, of humanity, they say. So this is giving great importance to the Illum Pipes and in Valley Fermage there's a great heritage of music and we can see it here, the young, the young children are continuing. So we're going to start today our celebration We've, we've had the pipers. I don't think they're going to play anymore. You're, you're heading back. The pipers have to go back to college. Back to class. <laughs> so thank you all. that people have had the opportunity, if you haven't already got to see the Piper's Garden. And as Una touched upon, it's a, one of those pieces of recognition that we have an opportunity to do, to acknowledge the huge contribution that people have came before us, many of them. Many of them are still alive, thank God, as well. And particularly the Keenan family, we have Paddy Keenan here today, the Furies, the Weldons, and lots of other families who've made a great contribution to the development of music. And also to the students next door here at Paddy Fermer College, which I'm very happy that I'm chairperson now for many years, Paddy Fermer College of Further Education. And they're actually making the pipes there as well now, so they have a course in learning the pipes and making the pipes. And I think that's the great legacy we can do to hand down to future generations. Una touched upon the fact that UNESCO designated the pipes as a particular instrument of huge cultural significance and something worthy to be protected into future generations. And if it wasn't for people like Paddy Keenan's father, John Keenan, that connection would have been lost. And all too often we see certain parts of our culture that are wonderful that have been in the past, they die out. And it's people like that and it's, it's recognitions like this with the Piper's Garden that will ensure not only will Irish traditional music remain a vital part of the community here in Ballyferma, but also that it will flourish going on into the future. And I see Gerard Flanagan here from the School of Music in Kylemore. And Gerard has been involved in so many different community events over the last few months. And particularly, uh, as we acknowledge this being our 70th year. Now, we all know Ballyferma is here a lot longer than 70 years. But the modern development of the housing estate that we see here today, my actually next door neighbour lived in Valley Fairman for, his mum was born where St. Matthew's was in 1892, and his sister was buried, Catherine, in the graveyard in the lawns that's no longer there, where it's covered over in the early 1930s. So we know there's been people inhabiting these lands since the Barnwells came here, about the 12th century, the Norman family here who settled here. But today, like for the students, both of Caritas College, which I'm a member of the Board of Management, and I'm delighted the principal here, I see Sandra here today, I see the brothers here with the boys from De La Salle and the teachers. And just to say, it is a sad occasion for me, when I was looking at the notes here last night from Luna sent me, that the De La Salle would be closing soon. And what a wonderful legacy of education the De La Salle order has given the people of Valley Fairman over those last about 60, over 60 years. And it would be lost soon. I know it will continue in John's College. But just to acknowledge uh, the lads there, I know for many years, I have to say, I've done the school quiz here for the Credit Union. And every year, they either win or they're second. So I know lads. You've got a great education in Del Salle and Valley Fairman. And as I say, it's one of those legacies that is lost now. And obviously, it will be for others to take that up going forward into the future. 
Just uh, before I conclude, I want to thank everybody who nurtures the development of Irish music and culture in our community. And we've seen over the last few months as we celebrated with the Heritage Group, and I see they're all here today, they're cataloging so much for when 50 or 100 years time, please God, that people will assemble in a place like this, like a library. And uh, you know, a few years ago, people thought that libraries were on their way out. Because of the advent of technology, people wouldn't want to read books anymore. They were all happy with their Kindle. Well, I have to say, Valley Fairmont Library is an oasis of peace in the community here. Right throughout the last few years, when we were under the severe influence of a huge recession and austerity, the lights were always on here every night of the week, and the staff always had an open welcome. And, and even in those midst there, the City Council was prepared to invest a huge amount of money in the redevelopment of the library. I chaired the Arts, Culture and Leisure Set, uh, Recreation Committee on the City Council, who's responsible for libraries. And I have to say, not because she's sitting here beside me, but Uma Gomez is one of the finest librarians we have in the city and our staff here. There's never ever an issue. And I, I have to say, Ken, I'm going to put you on the spot. Ken often marvels about anything we ever want with the Heritage Group. There's never ever an issue or a question about it. It's always forthcoming. And I want to thank you and, and your team because that's what a community is about. And Valley Fairmont over the last few months, the one thing that has shown me with all the celebrations we've have taken part in the area to celebrate all that's good and we all know the negativity but listen we can all wallow in a, in a you know in the sea of negativity it's about being positive and about trying to do something about the issues that we have to address going forward and it's great seeing as i say so many young people here today all the people who support those young people either their parents their guardians you know the teachers and the snas and everything else like that this is a great day for valley Fairmont. it's one of those days the Piper's Garden will be one of those legacies that people can enjoy. And I have to say, we got a great uh, feel for that. A few months ago, we had a group of students from around Europe here on an exchange program. And we have them again next week, uh, two weeks' time for Halloween. So there's lots of events taking place in Halloween, juggling workshops, fire workshops, lots of things like that, lots of positive things that are, we're able to, you know, celebrate the various cultural events of the year without losing the run of ourselves and everything else like that. So I hope from the colour runs to the fun runs to the haunted house to the fireworks that that's the Halloween that we'll remember over the coming weeks. But I'm just saying all those students coming from around Europe, the one thing every one of them says that how welcoming the people of the community are when they, and I know many of you is here, some of you have had the opportunity to do exchange programs in the second level schools. There was a few there last week in Malta and the week before in Tartano in Italy. But that's the type of community we're trying to develop here in, the, in Valley Fairmont. And it's one in which people are proud to say, I'm from Valley Fairmont or I'm from Cherry Orchard. And when you're proud of where you're from, you'll have no problems looking forward to the future. Uh, as I say, just in, in concluding, and uh, I, I have to be honest, the Ilium Pipes, what a wonderful musical instrument. And, you know, if I had hair on the, the back of my head, I have a little bit, uh, it would stand. It's just a fantastic thing. And we should be very proud, as I say, of those people who have handed on the skills, the musicmanship uh, to future generations and ensuring that we have that as a legacy to pass on. I have a little lad at home on a tin whistle all the time. I have a daughter on the guitar all the time and I'm always trying to get her to go down to Jared Baird and anyway. She's, every other night she's up in, the, up in our room and anyway playing away. But it's, you know, that's, that's what we create memories for and today is one of those great memories and it will be catalogued, it will be part of our celebrations. We have another great night on Thursday night where we celebrate all the people who have contributed so much to the community over the years and uh, as I say that's the Valley Farmer that I look forward to living in into in the future and I hope it's one that you're proud to say you fly the flag for your community here and well done to all concerned. Thank you very much.
And this, I got this from a group from the, who went to America called Night Noise. They're Irish, uh, Scottish origin, really. And uh, one of the Cunninghams, I think, wrote this particular tune. So we'll uh, do this now. We'll, we'll play this now. <laughs>
my my home's the road no fixed abode I must travel till the end for few Thank you.